it's time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And today being Saturday, February 26, 2022. Today is National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. That's right, National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. And we're going to read a fairy tale. In fact, it's called Violet and Victor Write the Most Fabulous Fairy Tale. Yes. It is written by Alice Coopers and illustrated by Bethany Dini Merguia. And this story was copyright in 2016, 2016. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm Violet Small, and I'm six minutes older than my twin brother, I love writing, and I'm a great storyteller. I want to write the most fabulous fairy tale in the history of fairy tales. My name is Victor Small, but I am big. I'm working on my Animals from Australia project. In Australia, shh, I have a great idea for my fairy tale. Violet was born in a castle. You were born in a hospital. Princess Violet was born in a gleaming castle in Fairy Tale Kingdom. That's not a real place. Stop being grouchy. Fairy Tale Kingdom is a marvelous place. Princess Violet writes fairy tales about glass slippers and peas under mattresses and talking frogs. Talking frogs don't exist. In Australia, there are these real amazing animals like koalas and cockatoos and quokkas and kangaroos. What's a quokka? It's a short-tailed wallaby that eats... Oh, never mind. Fairy Tale Kingdom is filled with fairy tale creatures. Talking frogs and swan princesses and multicolored unicorns and fire-breathing dragons and koalas and cockatoos and quokkas and kangaroos and... It's my story. I want to turn. One terrible day in Fairy Tale Kingdom, a wicked witch invaded Violet's castle. Victor! The witch cried. Witches are always wicked in stories. So she banned fairy tales. Stop. She locked up all the creatures. Why? And the witch banished Princess Violet to an island in fairy tale ocean. Violet could never write another fairy tale. Okay, well, now it's Violet's turn. It's my turn now. Straight away, Violet went to work on a plan to escape the island. She built a boat out of sticks and leaves. But it was full of holes, so it sank. She begged a passing mermaid to help.
But the mermaid was too busy fishing for oysters. So Princess Violet summoned Prince Victor and his dragon. Pulling in the big guns. Wait, I'm not in this fairy tale. Of course you are. You're my twin. Well, dragons don't exist. How about a cockatoo? Violet and Victor climbed onto the back of Prince Victor's cockatoo. They flew over fairy tale ocean. They landed secretly in the castle. They found the witch and locked her up. That's not what happened. Violet told the witch a marvelous fairy tale about a talented witch who made delicious cakes. The witch pricked up her ears. Violet told a brilliant fairy tale about a happy witch who loved Australian animals. The witch smiled. Violet told the best ever fairy tale about a generous witch who shared her delicious cakes with all the Australian animals. The witch giggled. Now, the witch loved fairy tales. The talented, happy, generous witch released all the creatures. She shared the castle with Violet and Victor. Violet wrote the witch the most fabulous book of fairy tales. Everyone lived happily ever after, especially the quokas, especially the multicolored unicorns. Now, shh, let's read. The end. Wow. See? Violet and Victor actually wrote that one. They shared the responsibilities. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story in National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>